look bad. So, uh, I did some spying on you guys. Like, friendly spying, not creepy spying. And those files are in the central terminal. Just in case any of those doll bastards survive this, I don't want them coming after you. So, go find them. Period. 
and asks you to remember those trailblazers who preceded you. Alma Harris. Sure. No problem, robot lady. I'm not an AI. I'm a person. I sit in a dark room and read what I'm asked. Look, another incoming message from those jerk bags. It reads, booty salads. I'm a grown woman who had to say booty salads because some... Angel, pull up whatever we got on Athena. Uh, this is Knox. Today at 0300 hours, Lance Assassin Athena... Well, killing nine and a half crimson lance soldiers in the process. One of them got cut in two, vertically. He's alive, but he's got to hop everywhere. Anyway, my guess is she wasn't psyched about the Atlas High Command duping her into murdering her sister. Which, uh, great idea, morons. You want to kill somebody, you hire someone who doesn't give a rat's ass about the job. Regardless, she escaped. With any luck, she'll come back one day and kill all of us. Sounds like a bandit to me. The officials in question were bandit leaders who murdered their way into positions of power. The cities were one step above bandit camps. Oh, so she's like a, a bandit that kills other bandits? Nice. Is she, uh, seeing anybody? Yeah, I'm a real charmer. All right, 
Let's turn them on. Hello, traveler! Ready to dance? Oops, 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 oops. No, shut it off! Shut it off! Oops! How am I supposed to create an all-powerful robot soldier when it won't stop dancing? You're fighting against its basic programming. You need to work with his idiocy, not against it. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks, baby. Love ya. I just like Claptrap and hope he dies.
prettiness. Double friggin' trouble. You had your Grab some books. Right-o.
classic literature. So, like, Detective Frog. That looks great. Now send that to me so I can finally show off my range as a voice actress. There's a scanner nearby you can use. <laughs> That was awesome. No, you know what? Say booty Damn souffle. It, That's man. way better, am I right? Uh, why is the voice in my head saying booty souffle? <laughs> I'm so glad you're right. Just turn in the machine, Paul Hunter. There's an employee up here named Dean. Dude's got some anger problems, and I'll bet the moon douchebags aren't improving that. I locked his ass in a closet somewhere around here. Find him and calm him down, will you, before he decides to join the Lost Legion or something? When I'm not good at video games, I take out my anger on people around me. I am easily upset. If we are playing a board game and you start winning, I will friggin' cut you. Take it down a peg, maybe? Jack is really good looking, and that makes me feel less good looking, and that makes me angry! I don't know. There's gotta be some way to cool that guy off. No! Jack left me here and doesn't pay very well, and now you will suffer my verbal wrath! I hate books! I don't like most things! If someone likes something I don't like, I want to dropkick their aspirations! If someone doesn't like something I like, I want to punch their extended family! Hate! 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 So angry! So! 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 So angry! Worry, I'm cool. Hey, my name is Professor Nokoyama. I've got an urgent message for Jack, but uh, uh Zabadon's troops locked me in the detention facility. Could you do me a solid and rescue me? Whatever, screw this. Yay! Oh my god. You look like him. Look. Beautiful. I... All troops converge on the detention center. We have a breakout. Ah! Jack has to get my message! You have to defend me! Oh god, they're gonna kill us all! Just defend me while I upload this message. So long as Jack receives it, I won't have died in vain. What do you even fight for? I need a pair of jacks. Ow! Is this what getting shot feels like? 
Again for oh god, I just realized how close I came to No thank you. It's been forever and I still haven't gotten a reply from Jack. Yeah, maybe he needs to know I'm for reals. Oh, oh, go find some paint and give it to a clap track. <laughs> Unauthorized scanner access will result in pretty much exactly what you'd imagine. There should be some paint in the Claptrap servicing station. Great! Now, give that paint to a Claptrap and ask it to draw an image of my adoration. A testament to the man who brought me here. Yellow's his favorite color, and appearances matter, so if everything's... I'm sick of all the foul language around here! Find a claptrap near Jack's office. After the robot makes the painting, Jack will walk by it every day. Look at these schmucks! While you away their digital lives at a computer! Ha! Thank the almighty robot policeman, I'm not stuck at a desk like these jokers! That one! He's not busy! He can create my masterpiece! Uh, just draw Jack looking pretty or something. This is all... Really weird to me. Aww, I wanted to dance! Don't worry, I'm cool. I'm so pissed right now. Who knew I could paint as well as I could dance? What the hell is Claptrap painting? It looks like a skag dry humping a vending machine. Nice color though. I'll get it washed off later. Uh, he doesn't understand. Let's send him some flowers. Go find a few I've planted around the station. Forward all steward requests to the clap trap repair shop. Complaints of a dancing related nature will be returned without reply. Planted these flowers myself. Mm, blood orchids. All right, that's all of the flowers we'll need. Just leave them outside of Jack's office. Huh. Wonderful. He'll have to acknowledge those. He can't miss them. He'll finally notice me. Fire hazard. Flowers blocking entrance to office. Please immolate flowers to prevent fire hazard. What? No! No! Alright, who the hell's been defacing my station? Show yourself! It's me, sir! Professor Nakayama! I'm the G- Yeah, yeah, don't care. You're pissing me off with your weird hijinks, Nakitiyama. Cut it out or I'll have you force-fed into a weapon grinder, Freaking jackass. Did you hear that? He almost pronounced my name correct- All right. I did it! Okay, I walking away now in fear for my life.
Sorry, I skipped lunch. I've shut down the trash compactor's hourly crushing. No grief. Whoops. <laughs> Did you fall? Probably should have warned you. <laughs> there she is! Go! Which one of you is least crappy? Hyperion Hunter spotted! That guy! Oh, hey! I'm awesome! How about that? You're not so hard! You can see this face right now! Just got 25% more handsome! or I will continue to be terrified. It's Jack, basically. Huh. Why Sorry, are we the best? Mm, no. Guess who has the best idea in history? It's me. Do I'm we have any family? A wife? Back it up in a Children? Next. Jack, sir, would you have time for a few Describe questions? Describe our childhood. Kind of. How would we like to die? Immortal. I don't know, somewhere warm with a sexy chick nearby, maybe. Wait, wait, wait a second. Aren't I supposed to not die? Because this thing's going to make me, you know, immortal? Digitally. Your memories and personality will be saved on a hard drive to be activated upon your death. Digital, that's the diet soda of immortalities. Board now, interview over. All right, compiling the data now. Just gotta plug Jack's answers into an AI, then give it sentience. I am RoboJack, all humans must die. Oh, cool! Sexy, evil computer version of me! That's pretty neat, Nakajama! Kill! 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 Robojack! Robojack! Say, I'm going to jack you up! <laughs> Just like that! No! No! <laughs> That's so cool! That's something I would totally say! I would! I am handsome, and you will die! So, looks like it could use another few revisions. I think the AI Jack thing might not be such a bad idea. Oh man, if, if I could clone a body for Jack, I could put the thing in the thing and it would be... Jack, I am so smart! <laughs> it's a fine day. 
full of opportunity. trained a mercenary. He's worked for every... corporation under the sun and has a kill count on par with the population of a small country. Sounds like just what we're looking for. Any downsides? 
He was born with a very mild case of bone waste, which means he's had a lot of skeletal implants. Subsequently, he may have gotten addicted to cybernetic enhancements. He's addicted to surgically shoving metal into his body. Yes, he'd be a good hire, but you'd run the risk of him being more machine- Nisha was single, did you? Greetings, adventurer. I, Cosmo Wishbone, polymath extraordinaire, require your brutish assistance. I intend to bless this moon with music of my own composition. To do so on the grand scale, I shall send a satellite into orbit. To these ends, I have built a rocket, almost. 
rocket be completed and you will become part of my story. Interested? To complete the rocket, I require several key items and will reward you handsomely for their procurement. First, go forth and fetch me a flow regulator. I have provided your echo device with the location of just such an item. A flow regulator will help control Excelsior's throttle. And apologies about the noisy neighbors. I could have done this myself, of course. I'm known to be a highly proficient warrior with a gun, but I'm in the middle of applying the finishing touches to my latest exploration into sound. A minor. Needs to be ready in time for the satellite launch. Anywhere else? I made sure of that. Farewell, friend. Come back anytime. Ah, colorful locals. 
Don't let them discourage you. Onward! snuffle it when he's busy showing you his ridiculous collection of worthless junk. The exhibits? Ah, a visited a few of my famous collection of rare starship parts. Make a small donation and we'll get started. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Now, let the grand tour begin. Uh, and keep the meat hunks off the exhibits or else you and I are going to fall out and that will get real ugly. This here is the escape pod ejection system from the Starship Gigantic, destroyed in its maiden voyage after striking a comet. All 11,000 people on board were killed when their escape pods launched, only to all smash into each other. <laughs> This looks like a birdcage, right? Wrong. It's the power core regulator from the Solar Liner Crusade, which exploded in space dock when someone removed it for dusting. They tried to put it straight back in, but the Crusade was, you know, exploded. And the tour continues this way if you like to follow me. The best thing I got's this flight data recorder from the Drakensberg. She suffered a critical engine failure during the Krakening and came down not too far from here. Had to fight off a lot of competition to get it. I don't mind rolling my sleeves up when I have. Goodness, that's actually it. The data recorder. Just take it, take it now. Hey, no handling my exhibits. You're not here for the tour at all, are you, you darn crook? Yeah, well, kind of too late. I am... Finally, Excelsior needs a gyroscope for stability. I'll update your echo post-haste. The local ingrates won't be too happy about you taking it, but I'm sure they can be reasoned with. Well, I didn't expect such a robust defense from Tony. Still, progress demands sacrifices of us all. Nina, good for you.
is my Knesset. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I've made sure of that. Tell your friend. Marcus Munition.